For festivals like Navratra, I like to treat my family and friends with some unique recipes. Today, I'm going to use one of the most underrated root vegetables, Arbi, and make a chatpata masaledar Arbi stir fry. Hey guys, this is a Bombay chef Varun Inamdar and welcome to Rajshri Food. Like I said before, Arbi is one of the most underrated root vegetables. Of course, potato being the most famous one. Being an underground vegetable, it needs to be washed absolutely well in running water. This needs to be pressure cooked for a minimum of four whistles using a little bit of carom seeds and kokum. This intensifies the flavor and also Arbi has a peculiar itch. So that is taken care of. This vegetable on cooling down completely needs to be peeled and then needs to be cut in sizes like so. Well, you could also leave the pieces of Arbi nice and whole, but I am going to make tiny little starters. So cut them like so. At this stage, you could fry the pieces of Arbi, but what I'm going to do is treat this like aloo tuk, which is a very popular Sindhi specialty. For this, I'm going to oil my palm lightly and press the pieces lightly. Like so. Continue doing this till you've pressed all the pieces of Arbi. Let's start with some spices. I'm using some red chilli powder, followed by coriander powder. Along with this, some roasted cumin powder. Amchur powder or dry mango powder. This is to make it nice and chatpata. Some pink salt. Along with this, some freshly crushed fennel seeds. I've lightly toasted them so that it's easier to crush. I've kept the fennel nice and coarse so that you get a nice bite while you eat the arbi. To make this nice and crisp, some rice flour and finally some salt as required. We need to dab the pieces of arbi in the masala so that they get nicely coated. Once this is done, we need to start heating a pan along with some oil. Once the oil heats up, we need to start frying these. After a minute of frying, we need to lightly flip it over. Fry this till they become nice and golden brown on both sides. Time to transfer these on an absorbent kitchen paper. The true test of this fried arbi is that it's nice and crisp on the outside and soft within. The pieces of arbi are fried and ready. Let's move on to making the tempering. For the tempering, the first thing is to heat a wok with a little bit of oil. Once the oil heats up, I'll add in mustard seeds. Once these begin to splutter, I'll add in shallots, along with this dried red chilies. To this, some carom seeds or ajwain. Well, I've added this while boiling, if you remember. I'm adding this again to get that nice intense flavor of carom. To this, curry leaves. White sesame seeds. and along with this, the fried arbi. Give this a few tosses lightly without breaking the pieces of arbi. With this freshly grated coconut, along with a few splashes of lemon juice. A quick few tosses, and this now straight goes in the serving plate. So here is my version of Chakpata Masala Arbi Fry. I'm sure you may have your versions also. Do send them in. Do not forget to like and share the videos and subscribe to Rajshri Food. And cut it. Superb. Superb. Chalo. 
अरे भला मोरी रामा भला तारी रामा भला मोरी रामा भला तारी रामा अरे भाई भाई अरे भाई भाई